So it's about the ways to keep your crush hooked. You can't be nice. No matter how much they proclaim otherwise, men love bitches. The more unavailable you are, the higher value you are. Control his self-esteem. Stay with me on this one. We want him to get a dopamine hit every single time he sees your name on the phone. And if you're absent, well, you want him to feel like crap. You need him to be thinking about you every time you're not around. When you are around him, bring your A game. You need to look immaculate. Be charismatic and give him compliments. Men very rarely get complimented by women, so this is effective. Dangle the carrot of potential sexual activity, but absolutely never put out until he commits. Play the coquette. Be hot and cold. One day you give him all of your attention. The next he gets none of it. He'll be sat there wondering what he did wrong. Guys, please don't fall for this crap. Protect yourself from parasitic women. Have self-respect and never simp over women. They think they can use their looks, fake niceness, and cold tactics to reel you in but as long as you are looking for the authenticity and true morality within women they'll never be able to manipulate you stay red pilled red pill brothers you teach men how to treat you so if you want them to respect you you have to show up in a way that demands respect from them all right if you allow a man to be hot and cold, to just pop in and out of your life anytime he wants without setting expectations or setting boundaries for him, his behavior is not going to change. He's going to see you as the woman that just doesn't rock the boat. He's going to feel that even if it's just subconsciously. The woman that is, you know, easy, that's how he's going to see you. Okay, it's not a good thing to show up with this in this way with the man. Because rather than valuing yourself and your time, you're showing that you're valuing his time. You're saying, yeah, I'm available anytime, whatever you want, whenever you want. And you're essentially sending the message that what he wants is more important than what you want. And if it's supposed to be the other way around, in order for a man to respect you, you have to put yourself first. She said women should set boundaries for men, almost like training a dog. Men prefer women who value their time, and men prefer women who say yes to their advances. Men don't like difficult women. Who told these 304s to teach other women the complete opposite of what men are looking for? Heh, <laughs> crazy women always hearing things. Guess what? If you have standards, they're not gonna like you. You're going to upset people. You know why? Because the moment when you actually act on your standards, they're gonna like be like, oh my god, like you're being so dramatic, you're so unreasonable. La, 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 la. That's them being unable to comprehend that you actually have higher standards and you won't allow for that kind of disrespect in your life. And so how they try to like manipulate you is to convince you that you're being unreasonable. And and that's when you have to walk away. Because if you don't walk away, then that person will forever be able to manipulate you. And if you don't walk away, you're letting yourself, con you're convincing yourself that that's what you deserve. And you don't, so walk away. And make people mad. There's nothing wrong with having standards. But most of these chicks either have ridiculously high standards, such as wanting a man who earns 400k per year or silly standards that says a guy must be obsessed with her so they can keep having higher standards and they can keep walking away from men she will hit the wall eventually and then she'll have to lower her standards or buy a cat also known as the crazy cat lady 